Hi Cancer, this is Just with your January 2020 general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Cancer, Happy New Year if I haven't said it. I don't remember at this point. <laughs> if you would like the 2021 Cancer Yearly reading, you can click the link in the description box below. And if you would like the extended to this love reading that we're doing right now, then click the link in the description box as well. And you can continue with this Love reading for couples only. This is for couples. Let's get into your reading. Um, some of you, first of all, <laughs> liar alert. <laughs> liar alert. <laughs> Hopefully I remember to put that as your tagline. Liar alert. <laughs> you have a huge liar. I don't know who's lying, but somebody's lying. Career sees you a little bit confused because of some type of decision that you make. Someone is making a judgment of some sort. Um, there's a lot to consider and you may have a lot of opportunities or options. Things are happening really fast um, in your career and your finance, but you have a way of finessing the situation. And it looks like it's going to be in your favor, especially if you, I mean, not especially, but this is doubly true if you have Gemini in your chart because they got literally the same card, the same placement. So I do see new developments happening for you rapidly in your financing career. That is going to be exactly, if not what you want, it'll be more than what you've ever, than what you thought you would have. So again, and you will be the topic of discussion. Uh, you are the star. So there will be a lot of eyes on you. You can get, um, you may get sought after. You can definitely get rewards and accolades now. People are commending you for the work that you do. So again, a uh, very positive time for your career and your finances. Just again, looks like a little bit of confusion around a decision that needs to be made. <clears throat> Some of you have just recently moved or will be moving. You're not so sure about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, your mind is not in the best place, Cancer. You feel very trapped by a situation. <laughs> I don't mean I don't mean to laugh at you guys. I don't. I'm not laughing. I don't mean to chuckle. Um, it's just crazy how this these these readings come out. It's just crazy. It's that was a sidebar. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, you're a little bit stuck. <clears throat> And feel trapped. You know that it's going to be a process. And so you may allow that process, right? Like you may have been here before, like, oh my God, I just, I don't know what to do. But you you may be saying to yourself, it'll be okay. It's going to be okay. That type of thing, like self-positive talk. But you probably know, because you're a cancer, you know how intuitive you guys are. You may just know that I don't think this is going to work. I do see Again, fallout, exchange, you know, some type of discord. Please be careful in your surroundings because things could just happen out of nowhere with people. So, you know, be safe. And I also feel like wherever there was any type of discord or hurt feelings or lashing out, it almost is immediately that someone um, apologizes or tries to make things right with you. It could be vice versa. You could be doing this with someone too. So make an amends where there has been problematic um, arguments or fights and then you're focusing more on you your work and the work at hand so this will be a more focused time when we get like toward the end of the week going into the weekend um or by the end of the week i feel like you're really focused on your career and your finances some of you could be fighting over children right um yeah, I see fighting on it over children or old arguments coming back again and fighting over old stuff again. Um, and, and whether you are apologizing or someone else, it's almost like, okay, yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. I don't give a damn. And so <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like to me. Um, home life. You guys may, some of you may have regretted. Let me know in the comment section below if you are one of the people that regret buying a home, moving into this new place, moving all together. Like you really may feel like you didn't make the right decision or why did you do this? Or is this all going to be okay for you? What is, there's a lot of, what the, okay. Uh-huh. I don't. Okay, so there's trying. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you moved in with someone, 
some of you may feel like, okay, some of you may have moved to remedy a situation, but you're realizing that that wasn't the best thing for you. Okay. Something good comes out of it, but I almost feel like you're changing. So I, I'm trying to figure out how do I word this properly? You took a leap of faith, right? And you stuck with it all the way, despite whatever, despite the people telling you no, despite whatever that came at you, you weren't listening. You didn't want to hear it. You went through with it. And now you're maybe second guessing yourself or just scared about this decision or this risk that you took, but you're in it now. You can't get out of it. And that's what you know. You know, it's like, damn, I can't get out of it. You can, though. Um, it's just going to take some maneuvering as time goes on. It looks like you're going to be able to work the situation out. And also looks like you may have some support, like help from someone that's definitely going to be able to help you. Don't think that this person is going to stay around forever. They, they're going to help you. Then they're going to disappear. That's what it looks like to me. Let's get into your love life because I really feel like this is tied into your love life. <laughs> this, this, this crying and weeping and stressing at home over someone that you have a strong connection with. There's a lot of love between the two of you. A lot of love between the two of you. And it looks like the two of you have made, may have tried to work a situation out after there has been a lot of lying. Somebody lied their ass off and, 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 you know, and honestly, you still don't know the truth about what's going on here. A hundred percent. Like you don't, you still like, but you're going by faith. Like, okay. You know, that type of thing. And I feel for some of you that's trying, that is in a place of preparing this relationship after there's been a lot of lying or secrecy or, you know, now, now let me say this. Some of you are in a secret relationship with someone that is taken. You don't give, it doesn't seem like you, doesn't look like you care. You're in a relationship where they are and somebody is the outside person and, and well aware of it, right? And you have this third party situation going on behind the scenes and you're concerned because, what is the concern? Oh, because, Okay. Oh, OK, because you may be feeling like they're trying to reconcile and work things out with their relationship and the two of you aren't going to be together. <clears throat> and you may be kicking yourself like, why did I get involved? Because now your feelings are involved and the secret may have come out and now you can't be with this person and you really want to be with that person. That's what I see for some of you. Others of you, uh, there's this deceit and you're trying to work things out with your person. You really feel like they're a player. They look at you as if you are a very stable committed individual um that's for the first group of you i'm reading for right and but the problem here is that even though there's a lot of love this person can't be trusted can't be trusted and i almost feel like the problem also the problem here is it's too much independence. You're both independent. And that's fine. Independence is amazing. Trust me, it's great. But <clears throat> you can't walk around like you're single when you're not. Are you Are you guys together or are you single? And I almost feel like for some of you, someone is saying or trying to act like they're single. Like, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Do what you want to do. It doesn't matter to me. But you do care. But it's just self-protecting. You're protecting yourself. And someone has to be careful if this is like cheating, third party, because some an outside person is going to get pregnant or you may get pregnant messing around with someone is what it looks like to me. You know what you want. This one, there's a, okay, I'm going to just go by sex. There's a woman here. She wants the real deal. 100%. She wants it to be real, but it's almost like, even though there's a lot of love here coming from this man, right? And she knows that this is a very strong connection and she wanted all of it. He did something. I don't know what he did. For all of you, it'd be different what happened. But now it's almost like you can't trust him. But you're just waiting. Looks like you're sitting back to just say, to see what's going to happen with all of this. But you sense that this may not work out. That's for the first group. Before I get into the rest of cancer coupled information or reading, <laughs> let's look at you single cancers. I see you, somebody is either coming to you or you're going, reaching out to someone. This is an energy where 
this can be great for you single cancers that's out playing and having a good time fun fun and flirty is what it looks like to me if you're out getting to know people i know people are like who's going out you know what i mean on the phone wherever you're out meeting people <laughs> it's an opportunity to have a good time and not be so serious unfortunately some of you cancers are looking very serious and people coming toward you they're very fun and want to have a good time they want it to be easy nothing too heavy and the 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 problem here is that somebody's not going to be honest that they're not ready for commitment or they're they're not really single something like that where somebody's not going to be the most honest even a past person can come back and, and lie to you and claim that they're single and they're not um and then and, and this is going to breed resentment and also distrust right that you're going to feel like you have to guard yourself against people so there's that let's look at cancer single women okay good some of you you're single and you are happily single very content with where you stand in your uh, personal life cancer singles very powerful very strong emotionally very very strong and in tune that you know you know you know you're going to be married you're going to have a good relationship you know that's coming for you so you're not sweating it you're not sweating it at all you just know that it's coming i don't know maybe you got a tower reading somebody told you you believe them i don't know but <laughs> you look very solid as far as um love and commitment it could be your choice like i could be with this person anybody i want to be with i'm choosing to be single that type of thing uh and so for some of you you're really enjoying your singlehood um you're putting commitment like true commitment on the back burner because you're really enjoying your own independence and self-identity in that and that's very powerful so kudos to you single cancer women cancer single men Okay, so some of you, I feel, are, hmm, here's the thing, you would be a great catch for someone if you did not have all this baggage. You have a lot of baggage, a lot of baggage, okay, which comes from a family dynamic between you and another person. It could be children involved or you thought you were going to be happily ever after that type of thing. And I just get a huge burden of trying to overcome what you thought you would have with someone and you still long for them you still long for that and if it's not a per person you're heavily longing for commitment or relationship or that true 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 connection with someone to the point where it becomes a burden right and some of you do you sometimes feel like you're the oddball out like someone doesn't necessarily who you want doesn't want you you know, you've been putting yourself out there and just it's been a dud like no one like there's no one worth it. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm getting. So um, nothing right now for single cancer men, I would say in love, but you're still trying to process and overcome some things. What it looks like to me back to you couples. That's the first group. And I already mentioned it. Others of you couple cancers for some of you. I mean, yeah, couple cancers. You want to get out of your head about the situation where you feel extremely tied to a person. And I almost feel like the love is starting to wane to some extent. And and it's crazy because you're being love bombed, right? So someone is loving you like crazy, but it's almost like a facade. It's either your facade or theirs. Someone is a bit of a facade going on here is what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's what it looks like to me. And some of you cancers are really regretting some type of decision and for all of you it'll be different what this is but there's some regrets here but also trying to keep your wits about yourself and at the same time trying to manipulate the situation in your favor <laughs> so you're trying to manipulate the situation to work in your favor and also at the same time kind of regretting the decisions that you've made i mean such is life right it's just life yeah 
So in the extended, if you're interested in the extended read, we're going to look at your person. How do they feel about you, the relationship, what they want to tell you? Deep down inside, what challenges do they face with you? What secrets are they keeping? Where would they like the relationship to go in the future? What would their current actions be? And overall, what's going to be the outcome of your relationship? We'll also look at Aries and Pisces. How do they feel about you? Click the link in the description box below if you're interested in that extended. If you want the yearly, you know it's down in the description box below. A personal reading with me is also available if you would like that. Click the link to my website. You can set something up to your, for yourself. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Cancer.